uh, and thank you to Paul, uh, Pepe, uh, Paul, uh, to, for inviting me, uh, uh, Pepe, and um, and, and uh, uh, Peter for for uh, sharing all all you guys your knowledge and your experiences, and uh, it's happy to be here. Thank you for uh, staying with us. And, uh, and inviting me to, to start my, my day, to become a very productive today. Because I'm, I'm starting a day very early. So and now I'm going to be like, like three or four hours more productive than I normally <laughs> tend to be. So that's a good thing as well. So I want to, to welcome you a bit. Uh, and just uh, so you know who I, who I am, I'm um, Hector Villarreal. I live in the Dominican Republic, as I shared. Uh, but I am originally from Mexico, so I love tacos and I love Caribbean music, so it's a good combination. Actually, you have the best of both worlds, and and uh, I've been a member of the International Association of Facilitators since two thousand and five, and a board member, a volunteer board member from twenty fourteen to twenty nineteen. I'm also a member of the Virtual Facilitation Special Interest Group, and I'm really passionate about technology. I I love technology since uh, I, I was sharing before that um, back in the day, my in 1985, my dad br brought the first computer in our, in our home. I'm talking 1985, uh, five inch floppy disks, um, very big ones. So, so, some of you might not have been even born. That computer is probably uh, older than some of you guys. So, so that uh, kept my interest. Um, and some people say that I'm a liberal arts major, uh, but I'm actually a secret engineer inside. So it's, it's like a, yeah, so, so mo most people are the other way around. They're engineers with like a, like a painter within them or an artist. No, I'm the other way around. I'm kind of like an artist with, uh, with an engineer's uh, 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 heart. And I'm very passionate about helping, helping people to, to collaborate. And uh, if you want to uh, connect with me, you can connect with me uh, through uh, Instagram or, or Facebook. Uh, um, or via my email, I'll, I'll put that my all my contact information in the chat as well later on. So today we're going to be working on trying to solve this question that uh, a lot of people ask me when I do my virtual facilitation workshops, and they ask me, "Okay, so what digital engagement tool to use?" So at the end of the, today's session, we're going to try to answer this question for you and help you uh, do that, help you respond to that question. Because uh, probably you've you've been using a lot of tools, uh, a lot of engagement tools today. I mean, not today, but in in this uh, period of uh, what's that? Uh, it's been a year and maybe thirteen months now, fourteen months that you've been uh, uh, digitally handcuffed for, with your computer. Uh, so we're going to be uh, experience several one, and I'm going to be sharing a little bit of. Uh, what um, what can we do in, in that regard? So let's uh, let's get started. So I would like to ask you, what uh, digital uh, tools are you familiar with in what that refer to engagement? When we talk about engagement, is um, uh, the uh, tools that allow you to get information from the participant, but not necessarily we're going to do a brainstorming, uh, like like that we're going to work with that information afterward, right? So so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a link that you will be able to um, uh, help uh, help out and respond. So let me see let me see if you can see the link in the chat. I'm gonna put you the link in the chat so you can open it up and let's uh, let's answer that question. If you like, you can you you're gonna be able to uh, put your name if you like, and if not, then you can uh, just uh, skip and continue to enter the response. So what um, digital engagement tools are you familiar with? You can respond up to five times. Okay. And at any time, you feel free to ask questions in the chat and, uh, or even raise your, raise, your, raise your hand. We have, a, we have a, good, a good group today, so we'll be able to engage uh, with one another. Good, great, perfect.
We have a couple of winners, it seems. Oh, cool. Great. Perfect. Good. Go ahead. So, yes. So, Hector, you had to write them all here one at a time because my thing, I one, put two and it got stuck. No, yeah, it's no, one at a time. One at a time. All right. Yeah. So he got Sorry stuck, but, but it happens. But I, I, I don't see everybody's answers, right? I only see oh. mine. And, 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 that, and there's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, uh, because you, you, some, some of the things when you work with disengagement tools is that uh, you, you show the results too quickly. You have to be careful with that. And that's a suggestion that I would like to ask to, to make up for you. Sometimes if you share the, the answers too fast, some people are already answering and you would be, uh, you are actually uh, people, oh yeah, that tool, I know that tool as well. And they start answering as well. They're, they're like, a, like they're, 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 uh, they're cheating because they're, because they're copying the results from someone else that already responded. So, so you have to make sure that you, re you share the, the, the results at, at the appropriate time. So yeah, let me, let me show you, let me show you what, uh, uh, can you see, can you see now? Yeah, you should be able to see if you're back in Zoom, you should be able. So we have a big, uh, a, a, a lot of uh, participants here use oh, Jamboard. I forgot Ventimeter. to write that Jamboard. <laughs> yes, yeah, and, and if, I, if, I, if I had uh, allow you to see the results, you would probably have written because yeah. you Because the thing is, what I want here is, okay, what's the first thing that comes up, that pops up in your mind? Because that's your like um, um, top of mind result. Sometimes mm -hmm. you, you want that, uh, 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 visceral response, you know, like the immediate, and sometimes you want a more, a more um, uh, reflective as well. Mm -hmm. So it could be, it could be uh, one or the other. This is th this tool we we call it. It's uh, well, no, we call it. It's called uh, 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 poll everywhere. One of the neat features of this is that you can embed the 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 results in a PowerPoint. That's also a new feature from Mentimeter, if you don't know about that. So actually, you can actually import, you can, you can put the, 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 the information and it automatically updates. You have to uh, uh, add a plugin into PowerPoint, but that allows you to actually show it uh, live. So you don't have to have be app switching. So you don't have to be moving between the browser and PowerPoint. And some people like that. And, and uh, uh, if you're working with, in a... In a conference, actually, uh, Poll Everywhere was the first uh, software that allowed you to do that back, uh, I think it was like three or four years ago. And, and um, uh, that's uh, one of the neat features of it. And also, Poll Everywhere allows you to use uh, SMS, short messages system. So you can actually send your responses to a phone number via your text message, and they will come up and show up here. So that's uh, one of the things that uh, Poll uh, Everywhere is like, um, was the the leader at the beginning of this uh, of this uh, so it's um so are we good so i uh, hope you like this one um and and let, let's go on and, and go and, and continue discussing okay because uh, i would like to know wh what are your challenges because uh, we've been talking about challenges a, a little bit and now i'm gonna i would like to um to ask you Okay, what are your challenges in regard to uh, virtual uh, uh, facilitation? What? Uh, of, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna now go. Oh, sorry. Uh, Mobile can, phones, right? No, actually, we, we can do it on the on the we we can do we can do it on um on this on the computer as well. I mean, we can do it. Um, it was with your cell phones, yeah, as well. I, I just put the, the link in the chat, and also I put the QR phone. If anybody would like, like to use a QR phone, yeah. uh, because what, what will be the advantages, Hector, of um, using the phone or using desktop in your in your experience? Well, um, I have to say, sometimes I use uh, the QR code for one thing only, and is I use it at the start of a session to ensure participants use the phone for something that I want them to use it to. Mm -hmm. So I hijacked their phone um, uh, uh, ah. using, so yeah, because the thing is, I don't want them being in WhatsApp as well. Ah, okay, got it. So, so it's a, it, that's, a, that's a, a group management trick, or maybe, I don't know if it's a trick or a, um, 
or a cheat for because uh, sometimes uh, I want them to to focus on what I'm doing so if if they use the first, like in the first ten minutes, if I do a, uh, uh, like an icebreaker that I use this tool, they know that the, the the cell phone will be used for the session, so they won't be tempted to be using it for WhatsApp. So I use it uh, something for that, and also this um, can um, allows for. Uh, but sometimes if participants are not very tech savvy, um, I would just uh, uh, use the link in like we have in the chat. Okay. Very, so, very good. Very good tip. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, I've been, uh, I think it's sometimes we, we do need um, to make sure that we are engaging the participant in different ways and that we have all their digital resources aligned. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we're almost everybody uh, responded. Uh, is anybody need a little bit more time? Everything good? Can I see a thumbs up? See that you're ready? Perfect, great. So I'm gonna share you, this is uh, one of the uh, fairly new things about Mentimeter. One of the things that I do like a lot. Um, uh, this is uh, a new way of presenting information. So in, instead of, a, instead of a, a, sim a simple scale, it allows me to think, okay, what are the, what the biggest challenges? So, so right now for this group, we have the biggest challenge is engaging participants, and and the technical elements, the designing maybe an, a little less, and the getting through results even less. So this allows me to to sense. So you can you can do a, actually a, this this radio uh, uh, presentation. Uh, this the if you're working with engineers, or with people that are very numbers oriented, they love this one. Because uh, it's, it's like, it's like oh, yeah, it looks like an Excel sheet. It, it looks like something out of Excel, and they love it. So, so it's like talking with the, the participants in their visual language, right? I mean, uh, and there, there are many other ways of, of presenting this. Um, uh, uh, that's one of the things when, when you're using this kind of uh, in Mentimeter, at least you have um, new ways to, to do it. For example, you can do a two by two grid where, where people can rate items and they can put uh, uh, things uh, from one side uh, to the other, mm -hmm. right? So uh, in, in terms of, in terms of um, practical use, uh, Hector, what, which one do you recommend? Metimeter or pool everywhere? Wait, we're halfway there. We still have two more ah. to see. Oh, two more to see, okay. Yes, I mean, come on. <laughs> we talk about the battle. So, so a battle of two is, yeah, we're, we're okay. gonna, we're, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Okay. I'm sorry, yeah. And, and, and we're halfway through, so don't worry. We're 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 uh, we're keeping on time. I know I know we're we we have limited time, so don't worry. We'll get there. So now we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to so for you I'm gonna ask you um, just oh. so we're gonna get there. Whoop, sorry. So we put them in battle, okay? Yeah. So we're so because because you're gonna tell me what what what's good for you or not? Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go. Please check on on the on the link. I I, I just added. Uh, it says um, ahaslides.com okay. slash call of Asia. Okay. Right. So you'll be able to put your name if you like, and you can yeah, maybe uh, put another an avatar as well. Participant limit exceeded. Yeah, yeah. What's that? it says participant. Yeah, participant limit Oops. exceeded. Sorry. Me too. Please ask the presenter to upgrade their account to a bigger Shucks. plan. I, I, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I think <laughs> I, yeah, I'm okay. using. The, I'm, I'm using. I'm yeah, yeah. Oh shucks, let me. Okay, yeah, the things I. Okay, let's. The ones who did, just answer it, and I'll show the response. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm going to show you how it looks. Uh, so we have Ruth, Wessel, Maley, Paul, John, June, Ra, and Peter. The first so ones gonna, got in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The first one got got in. So I'm going to start the quiz. So, uh, so this question only rewards more points for fast answers. Okay. So look, look at your, your screen or what you've opened. Open. 
So, what is more, which is more difficult to facilitate, hybrid, face-to-face, -face, or online? Okay, five people. Okay, and everybody. Okay, good. And let's see the results. Time's up. Wow, cool. I love this tool. So, Ruth, you were ruthless. You were the first. Actually, we have a, oh, yeah. John. Ruth and John, match. It's a match. Ruth and John, yeah. <laughs> So, but do they win because they get the, the most voted question, or would anyone uh, any no, question? Well, would, okay, no, the actually, right answer. actually, the, yeah, the, the right answer was um, hybrid, yeah, it's hybrid uh, because it's more, it's more difficult to manage two different types of engagement. Uh, this is um, uh, if you're everything virtual and everything or everything face to face, um, it has its own set of rules. The thing is, when you're managing both, you're managing a bigger set of rules mm -hmm. and a bigger set of engagement and the context so it's more difficult so this uh, just uh, probably most of you have been using kahoot or probably so this is an alternative to kahoot for example and i mm -hmm. i do prefer this one because you give you more options uh, and the, and kahoot only has like four so this one i do prefer and it's easier to to work with it's it's like it's like an the the, the um, an offspring of mentimeter and kahoot Oh. So they, they went into a weekend and this came up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, but so, so let's, uh, uh, so we, we've seen uh, Menti, we've seen, uh, Aha, this is one is Aha Slides. And actually, I think it's this Spanish company, the, one, the, the owners of Aha Slides, I think. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to ask you to join me and see, um, and, and this one we're going to create together. We're going to create together and, and, um, is a, it's it's called WooClap. It's called WooClap. So, I mean, I'm here in WooClap, and I'm, I'm in Digital Club Asia, and and uh, we're gonna start here. I'm gonna start it, and um, we're gonna I'm gonna put the link in the chat. Uh, I'm gonna just. Oh, and you let me know if um, I mean. Okay. So you have to, to to point into the right area. Where's the Mickey Mouse? Okay, got it. Yeah, you have to look for it and click on it. Okay. Three people already responded. Yeah. And yeah, this one everybody should be able to respond. Sorry about the, the previous one. I think. Would you click multiple Mickey Mouses or? Well, you can click in different places as well, yeah. Yeah, this was a fairly easy one. I, been, I should have put it a, like a more difficult one. Like, where's Waldo? Something like that. Yeah. Okay, so let's go and see. Everybody responded yet? Yeah. yeah, already. Good. Perfect. So let's see. Let's see the results. Oh, somebody click in the tennis court. No, te Mickey Mouse is definitely not playing tennis today. And maybe he was uh, underneath the trees. <laughs> or, 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 or maybe, well, it's, uh, it's almost 8 a.m. here. So it's in the office already, just joining in, taking the coffee before connecting and getting into <laughs> his. Uh, like a day trading work, I and mean, you know, Mickey Mouse doesn't. I mean, so, some, sometimes selected to have work, no? so so yeah, and so you can also work with uh, with the same uh, the same experience, right? So we're good. Okay, so we've seen four different tools uh, in the, in four different environments. So it's like, okay, so which one do, would you choose? That would be my question, and I'm, I'm I would like to invite you all to, to uh, just raise your hand and start, okay, so which one would you use? Hmm. So many options. <laughs> yeah, so many options. I, just, I, I, I like Mentimeter a lot, uh, Hector, and that's why I'm asking about um, pull everywhere. And But for me, what I think the value of these tools will be simplicity for the participant, right? Simplicity of access rather than features for the participant. Thank you, Paul. Then Ajit, then then Miguel. The... 
Sure. Thank you. Um, again, Mentimeter, uh, two reasons. One is, uh, as uh, Paul said, the ease of access uh, because people can actually use their phones and get into menti.com very quickly. Second, uh, the awareness here where I do sessions of a mentee is much more higher. Maybe the third reason is I like the options that they have, like you showed the two by two metrics. I use it in some of my facilitation work. Uh, it gives amazing uh, data point for convergence. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, uh, uh, I think you raise your hand and then Wes, okay. Oh, well, yes, it's just to confirm what uh, uh, Paul and uh, said uh, about the Mentimeter. I'm very, you know, uh, accustomed to, to use the Mentimeter. I find it very easy to use with many features, many possibilities, and many options. Easy to share results with everyone. But I find the poll everywhere uh, very interesting as well. I mean, it's a very interesting tool with plenty of uh, options and features as well. Go ahead, Russell. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm limited experience with, uh, with the other tools. I'm, I'm familiar with, with Mentimeter. But one argument for me to use Mentimeter as well is if, if I collect data and I, I download the data, that is something we can build on as a team. And people do not need to submit other information or we don't need to process it. Uh, all information is available. You can use it for a next step. It's interesting. Most of the other tools most of the other tools also can export to Excel. Uh, mo most of the other tools you can download as well, the results. Um, one of the things that happened, uh, that, and, it, and I do have to say that I, I, is that depending on what the challenge that I'm working with, I, I yeah, use uh, different, different tools. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, uh, it's not that I pay for everything all the time. I don't, ha I mean, I don't make that kind of money yet. But but um, depending on the on the on the audience, I normally use one or the other. Menti is very good for uh, it's very clean. The, the 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 interface is very slick. You can change things on the fly, and uh, so it's it's. But for example, there are many options for training. For example, I do a lot of training when I do uh, virtual training. That um, uh, Menti is 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 designed for a conference setting. So where you you're in a conference environment, it, it, it actually was it, the first time that I saw it was it uh, in 2016 in Sweden, in in, a, in an open conference. And Mentimeter is a Swedish company, by the way, as well. So so it's like okay, you work with it. But for example, if you want other types of engaging activities, where you need to know okay, what's the level of knowledge of the participants of a certain thing, hmm, sometimes you might need uh, something different. So so uh, that and the most that I use is our WooClub. And 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 Menti uh, WooClub I use it more, a lot because of the training capabilities. It has, I don't know if I show you. Um, I, I love okay. WooClub, Hector. Thanks so much for sharing that one too yeah. with us today. Yeah, it, it's a Spanish yeah. company. You said no. Uh, Ajas Lights. I think that's the one. That's the Spanish one. Yeah, the, the one that it, that that some of you weren't able to to get into. Okay. Apologies for that one. And, uh, yeah, but uh, for example, the last one that, that with the image that you would select where the information, where the things are, that's on um, that's on WooClub. WooClub, yeah. It, 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 WooClub is more designed for the uh, training universities, you know, like uh, uh, that kind of classroom environment. Yeah. What are the differences in prices as well? Uh, the, the, apart from, of course, what purpose you need the tool for? Mm -hmm. For example, uh, Menti, if, if I recall correctly, is around a hundred dollars a year. Um, if it's I a bit recall, more, I think, 250, um, I know, I'm about 90. Probably. Um, and a WooClub has an, an, uh, uh, one that it's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, nine, yeah, $9 a month. Yeah, so it would be a 120 probably. Yeah, so WooClub has a, a, a more, uh, I think it's it's more for you, if the the free version can allow you for all up to thirty or forty participants, and and it, you can just create create up to two uh, sessions, yep. and you can just re recycle them. So if you're going to use it once or twice, it, it, it's good. Uh, sometimes I use it just to spice it up to to change participants because sometimes participants have seen Menti a lot, and and just changing the the thing is like okay, this is something different. I need to pay attention. So it's kind of like they waste them up, yeah. Because uh, because pe people get used to it. it's like like when we did 
like uh, um, we went to video facilitator, we're so used to Zoom that when we when we see something different, it's like uh, no, I want to go with what I know, so mm -hmm. I have to uh, go back. So so sometimes this allows to just get people out of the comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I I would say that sometimes it's good to get people into another platform. So it's like okay, now you ha you do have to pay attention because things are different. It's like when you take the participants out of their conference room and you get them into the hotel so it's like okay this is a different place <laughs> so they, they, they have to behave differently as well yeah, yeah. so no, so, uh, so sorry that uh th this was all that i had planned for you guys today thank i hope you. you you enjoy it i hope you liked it thank and, you so uh, much hector thank you a round of applause uh, for hector else. i think it it, it it's good that this session is recorded because it's a blast uh, on on uh, um really a, a, a battle of mentees really thank you so much hector and for your tips and advice that you shared